Many of you know that we do a one minute tip of the week on a topic each year. This year, it is how to communicate in the diverse workplace. Today, I'd like to expand on our tip about eye contact. People do business with people they like and trust. And in the Western culture, when we do business in the United States, it is important that we connect with our eyes, whether you are communicating with one, five, or even 15 people. Yesterday, I spoke to a group of 25 individuals. And after about an hour, I said, is there anyone in this room that feels that I did not connect with them with eye contact? Not a hand went up, nor does a hand ever go up. So you should be able to connect with everyone if there are up to 25 people in a room. So in this video, we are going to talk about the use of eye contact around the globe. My name is Jane Lance, also known as the communication trainer. And I am very excited about sharing all of these tips throughout the year on communicating in the diverse workplace. At Corporate Speech Solutions, we often counsel our clients on achieving a strong, confident presence, also known as executive presence. When you connect, when you're a leader, when you're confident, you look at people eye to eye. There's always that tendency for people to look away. They may look at a spot on the ceiling. I used to say to clients, what are you looking at in my ceiling? But when you are not establishing that eye contact, people, the listener, the receiver, starts to mistrust the individual that's speaking. Because again, remember, people do business with people they like and trust. As I've mentioned, in the American culture, the eye contact is really important. Averting eye contact, looking away, may be perceived as someone who is insecure, who is uncomfortable with the situation, who is not trustworthy. For all of those reasons, that can impact your communication in a negative way. Of course, around the globe, this varies. When I work with people from around the globe, it's important to ask, are you communicating with clients, prospects, and colleagues in the United States? because it is important to understand the nonverbal communication around the globe. So it's not important to overall your entire cultural practices within your personal workplace, but in this tip and in this video, I want you to be more aware of connecting with your listener, with your listeners, and remember, people do business with people they like and trust. So start that trust by establishing eye contact. I'm Jane Latz, founder of Corporate Speech Solutions, where we help you say it better.